going to cover the monthly trading options. That is the third calendar Friday of each and every month. So, the difference between the weekly and the monthly is that the premium has more of a solid trader uh, entry and exits for the first two weeks. Um, once we start getting past that two week level of the monthly, then the uh, premium and how they still premium. So 916 is a monthly options expiration. These are the strike prices that are monthly on Google. And I'm also going to show the um, Google daily call chart. Now, we all know that everybody loves to trade options. For the people that are viewing this right now, you have not used a call chart or put chart, and you probably don't even know that they have them, but everybody wants to trade options. One thing about the monthly options is we look at where the premium once was. That was way up here above the $20 mark. Now, these options have come down to a low as of 826 to $5.51. Now, on a monthly trading option, they get inflated. They can't stay up here. That means that the opposite side of the market is going to go up as the call side went straight down. And it's the third calendar Friday of each and every month. Have a monthly 790 call on Google that got down here toward $10 and I had a $5 bounce that used to be up here at $30. And yes, this is the only way that you're going to learn how to be a market maker with our system is understanding the inflated and the deflated part and covering these monthly premiums that trade totally different. Here is a 795 call on Google and it's September. Uh, 16th monthly option expiration. Here we have what we call a deflated call option called an $800 call and the premium is going to cost more money than the weekly options. Weekly options are to make a market one to three days and also on options expiration weekly Fridays is the biggest move and also on the monthly options expiration we get huge moves and when these were up here at $24 they were inflated there was no way that they were going to stay up there and by using our sophisticated algorithms that we have developed for monthly options we have this baby pegged I'm also going to show what a $800 put option looks like on a monthly September 16th and these two um, as far as this daily chart goes on the $800 put on a monthly right here, we can see where these prices have been and how they've been trading on a daily level with that monthly premium that trades totally different. Here's an $805 call that got very cheap on a monthly level. And that means that the pricing level on the monthly um, algorithms that we have in our platforms is just very simple to see where the actual $805 call that got way down here they were up here at $20 but now they're deflated and how to trade the monthly premium the third Friday of every month is, is that the actual bid and ask premium is going to be different than the weekly bid and ask premium between buyers and sellers have 916 $800 call and they were 881 on the high the range was 3.3 dollars the previous close was 6.2 so basically this is how a bid and ask um, on a monthly expiration is going to be a tighter bid and ask in dollar premium like I said there are four cycles to trading monthly options calls and puts can see that the actual $800 monthly put, it's a monthly option expiration, and the premiums are going to be tighter. This one was a great intraday range too because they hit a low of 980 and then the high was 1559, and the actual ranges are much more price stability within the bid and ask ranges on monthly contracts versus the weekly contracts and the actual strike prices that we're showing right now like I said here's a $795 put um, a 
it had a $4.40 range. And these are the kind of ranges that we trade as market makers. And we also use the uh, sophisticated uh, turbo option trading platforms that we have um, built for exactly these kinds of trades, what the monthly premium is going to be like, and how to trade um, monthly uh, call and put options and understanding the premium, how it changes. So when we are two weeks into a monthly contract, the actual bid and ask uh, ranges in the dollar cost uh, strike price either at the money, in the money, or out of the money. Now, in a case like this, if I thought that Google was going to go all the way down here on a monthly expiration, and I got a 780 put, we can see that the range is 2.8, but how smooth that range is. It was a 630 on the high to a 350 on the low. And for intraday monthly trading options is with 30 to 50 contracts, you can actually make your 15 to $20,000 days easily on the third calendar Friday monthly, 916, 780 put if we were looking at it. And just remember, we're showing the examples of the actual monthly premium on a 790. Uh, put it had a four dollar for 40 penny range and this 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 was a great one and so the uh, the other uh, options that we show is what is the premium value worth below the money and we have a 2.8 dollar range in the monthly we don't see that in the weeklies and here is the chart that everybody can take a look at this chart here of course is going to be a lot different and it is a call charts and put charts and we can see here on a monthly level how to trade them up and then get out and not only that the bid and ask ranges are going to be tighter and less volatile we have um, monthly third Friday monthly expirations on TurboOptionTrading.com and learning how to make a monthly uh, bid and ask spread for several profits and then using the weekly call and put option because those prices are going to run a lot faster than the monthly ones but you can trade the weekly and the monthly right along side of each other calls or the put options once again we're going to conclude that you can join our free live training and you can get in the live trading room where these orders are going to be traded and how the examples with actual real trades the buy side sell side once again monthly third calendar monthly Friday of every month is a monthly option.